here is another uh, Berkeley uh, flight uh, video uh, from my drone, and uh, I'm experiencing uh, a little bit of um, interference problem. So have a look. See these uh, forward slash just above the tree lines. Uh, they weren't there. Uh, when the drone was first turned on and after a few seconds uh, it started to show and let me show you and um, yeah this is silly um, you know so I have to exit out of that and there's an overall status warning already um, with a triangle looks like uh, my gimbal motor low too large um, it, it, and check if the gimbal clamp has been removed and um, so what happened was in my haste, I forgot to remove the camera um, covers. So after I done that, everything is smooth. And um, um, to here, forgot to remove the camera uh, covers. So um, went to do all that. Okay, see that? See that forward slash? You know decreasing and uh, I'm uh, almost ready to take off now and um, yeah, as uh, I'm focusing here so okay I just uh, changed return to home altitude to 30 meters and I started to set the current position the home as home point updated please check it on the map yeah, so not sure about these uh, interference or the forward slashes. And now I'm uh, taking Take off. off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Yeah, see, so the vision position system is almost the same as the height. You can see here 35, 40, 33, 40. And then after a while, the vision position system just uh, shut off and then SD card is full so I'm getting this um, warning message as well and um, I, I started to fly away and higher as you can see here height is 143 feet and the distance is 200 feet you know keep uh, moving higher and moving away further you know and um, I'm at 300 feet now 175 feet um, 177 feet high, and I still got this interference, uh, the forward slashes. And at that point, when I was at 170 feet high and also um, 366 feet away, my signal is still very strong. Okay, but the problem is that um, with the sun glare, I uh, couldn't see my where my drone was, and the bystanders also were yelling, uh, "Where is your? Where, where is the drone? Where is the drone?" I couldn't see it because of the because of the sun glare, you know. So I had to decrease my uh, height of the drone, you know. So I brought it down from 170 to 150 feet, and you know, keep just keep uh, dropping it. Eventually, I dropped it down to 125 feet, then I was able to see it. Plus, I was bringing the drone closer from 366 feet down to 266 feet. And I kept dropping my um, height, you know, from 200 feet to, to, to um, 95 feet, and the distance from 366 to 266, and the height, um, you know. I, and then once I see it, I started increasing the uh, height again. And, um, okay. There, that's it. So it's pretty, pretty uh, small. So I, I took to my camera uh, downward, uh, um, and I just can't stop at an angle. So this is maybe I need to move this uh, to change the change, change, change the uh, camera angle between horizontal and vertical. So um, uh, I, 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 for whatever reason, I um, was able to get this much, you know, and then the. Um, I forgot to turn the camera back to the horizontal angle so it's just looking down all the way from 267 feet away uh, all the way to return home 
um, and the camera was just looking down so there's not much to see and I decided not to show you uh, those um, uh, sections of video so and uh, so basically this video is to show you the uh, slashes the interference uh, I'm just not sure what that was uh, if you do know what 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 these uh, interferences are, just uh, let me know. Okay, thank you very much.